Hello everyone, I am Vashitma Baga, currently a third year undergrad at IGBTU and joining me is my friend Sudaya who has just landed up an offer from Barclays and today she would be sharing her tips and tricks and preparation journey. The stage is all yours Shania, over to you. So hello everyone, I'm Shania Agrawal and uh, I'm currently pursuing IIT from IGBTU. I'm currently in my sixth semester and uh, I'm highly grateful for this college for having such opportunities for us and because of that only I was able to land an internship at Barclays. Okay, so we would like to know when did you started up coding? When did you said hello to the compiler first time? Okay, so looking back at my journey, I had ECE first. So uh, it was just a thought for me that I wanted to grab CS or IT at this college. So I devoted my ear for internal upgradation. I was more focused about academics and I was just into books and not into coding. Though I could see my peers working and, uh, you know, being masters of DSA when I was just focused about having good grades. So yeah, I devoted one whole year for my CGPA and I was able to come into IT. But just after that, as soon as second year started, uh, I started coding. Since I had CS in 11th and 12th, it wasn't a bit of, you know, hard for me. It was a cakewalk. But yeah, for DSA, I had to practice a lot. Which one coding platforms or any standards you video follow? Okay, so basically in 11th and 12th, in most schools, they teach Python. And I got to know that for DSA, CPP or Java is more preferred. So to learn fundamentals of CPP, like everyone else or mostly, I also bought that coding language DSA plus CPP wala course. I did that and uh, I think it's seven to eight months long. After that, I was able to go to advanced concepts of DSA and for that, there were platforms like geeks for geeks Striver and various other channels on YouTube that are available for free. Know, it's, uh, what was your text for projects and what was the domain? Okay, so in first year, in summer vacations, you are given an internship project for credits. So for that, I did this MLAI internship from AI Club IGDTOW. In that, I was able to explore machine learning and its related concepts. And in my first year, I also took part in a lot of hackathons and ideathons. In that, I explored dev. So basically, my tech stack is Dev plus MLAR. Hackathon <laughs> experience or meetings with people, did you find valuable, which was discussed during the interviews or in general? So hackathons are definitely valuable. Everyone should participate in at least one hackathon in their first year because you will think that you are pursuing a lot but when you'll go there you will see people who have done a lot in this field they let you know where are you lagging and what else you should do to advance your concepts and how to make it a career out of it so yeah i'll recommend participating in an hackathon <laughs> So let's come to the interview process firstly which branches were eligible and was there any cgp criteria in general Okay, so I think for CGP it was 8 plus and all branches were eligible, fortunately. Okay. Next, the OA format, the online challenge which was conducted, how many sections were there and according to you, what was the difficulty level? Hmm. So compared to other companies, Barclays had the most unique process for the recruitment. Everyone knows that since they came for this role for the very first time, which is credit trading analyst and macro desk analyst. So it is all related to finance plus technical. From our resume, they were able to send that we were pretty um, comfortable with the tech stacks and we know how to code. But for finance, they were also confused that we might not know what is the career all about and what will we do actually. So for the very first uh, OA process, we had 39 MCQs, which included OOPS, OOPS, OS, logical aptitude and statistics questions and two coding questions, which were easy, array and graph concepts. 
and uh, for the next OA process, it was core finance plus statistics. In the finance portion, the second OA which was conducted, did you prefer any resources? Did you saw any resources or any stuff on internet which you found useful? So after our very first OA process, they visited our campus where they told us that the second uh, round will include basics of finance and like finance is a very wide field. They were not expecting a lot out of us, but we were able to answer some of their MCQs using some basics of finance and thus many of us were able to qualify that round too. Okay. And for the rest of the sections, like those were easy only like if you, you have already qualified JE, so it will be a cakewalk for you yeah let's come to the interview process how many rounds of interview were conducted so there were three to four rounds depending on your performance in every round okay. for yours there were three rounds yeah for me it was three what was the format like uh, the combination of technical or HR, technical or finance? So for the very first round, it was DSA plus uh, guess estimate questions and quiz quiz type questions, which you can find on G uh, GFG. There are a lot of questions there. And for DSA, it was easy only. They'll just try to know if you are uh, thorough with the concept and not like the exact precise solution. And they won't ask you to code also. It will be a general discussion. Now for the next round, it was score finance. And uh, since Barclays visited our campus twice. So when they visited first, they told us that they will give us some time. 15 to 20 days were allotted to us to study basics of finance and to dwell into this world and get to know that uh, if it interests us or if we would like to proceed with the further rounds. So for second, it was core finance and uh, yeah, they will try to cross question and get to know if you actually understood the concept and it, it actually interests you. It won't be like you're just saying that, uh, yes, I'm interested in finance. I would like to join Barclays. It's not like that. They will understand that from your answers. And uh, for the next round, it was HR plus finance. Okay. So most of the juniors would now be having up doubts regarding which topics we can look regarding finance since we don't really have those electives uh, till our third year in finance. So first of all, uh, I think that they might come up for different roles next year. So first, read the job description. In job description, it, it is literally the most important thing of the whole interview process. And there, uh, they have mentioned certain pointers about the role. So first read about the role and search up for those concepts. Since finance is a broader term and it has a lot of concepts and everything is interconnected. So spend some time and there are a lot of resources on YouTube and various information available on Google. Just go through that. And if you think that finance is up for you, then spend a lot of time reading about it. Barclays is the right platform to pursue your finance interests. <laughs> From the past experience, like, uh, you must have seen the various situations and topics which we study in college are uh, being asked in interviews. We would like to know what are the common topics do you think are important and one must have a look before interview. Hmm. So core subjects include OS, OOPS, DBMS and DCCN sometimes. And I've seen that in some companies, even software design was also asked. So you can just go through that. But for mainly core subjects, it includes OS and OOPS only. But for Barclays, they did not go to these core subjects. Rather, it was more of an understanding and coding concepts in finance only. Okay. So uh, thank you so much, Sanaya, for joining me up today. I really learned a lot. Like. I didn't experience finance in interviews, so it was a new experience for me also. Now, I would also be Googling up what are the basic <laughs> concepts of finance so that I could also get a gist regarding this. Thank you so much. It was really an informative session. I hope juniors will also be benefited. Thank you. Thank you for having me and all the best.